Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Morte Mistress here. I just did the stupidest thing. I just filmed a whole video and flashed you all my address. So, starting over, we have a package video today. So you can't see any addresses on it. Mm, I love when I do that. Um, so I got this yesterday. I wanted to open it today with you guys. I got it because I really wanted it um, from Etsy. So we're kind of doing a pastel goth reviews it today. But two things first. Two things. If you guys have been living under a rock. Okay. I'm going to lighten you on this. This app is amazing. Okay. If you like making avatars and... Um, Sorry, I gotta refresh it now. I had it all pulled up and nice. Filmed it all perfectly the first time, of course. And then now it's like, take two, action. Oh my goodness. Give me just a second. Let me close out of you. Oh, this is my old phone, so I forgot how this thing works because I'm currently filming on my new phone. So bear with me, because it's like, how do I life? Okay, got it, all right. So, when you go to the Google Play Store, it is called Monster Girl Maker by Ghoul Kiss. It is oh so much fun. Um, I've sat on this app for hours at work because my work entitles me to do nothing except talk to truck drivers on, reg on uh, occasion. So, let's see if I can find it. Now, watch. Okay. Here it is. Here is the app look when you want to look it up to install it. It is called Monster Girl Maker by Coolkiss. Like I said, it is so much fun. Um, I The only problem I have had with it is it getting loaded on my Samsung S9. I don't know what it does. So you get the start screen, it looks like that. Mine is like faded, like it hasn't loaded all the way. Um, I got it to work one time, and that's because Panda Bear helped me. Um, but other than that, it just kind of sits on the screen. And I, it says tap to start, and I can't do that. This one, obviously, you can. So this is what it looks like when you go into it. You slide up. You don't press. You slide up. You can pick from assortment of eyes. Um, you can change your mind, change the color of the eyes. There's parts one, two, and three. And you can just change like different parts, components of the eyes. Let's make a random one together, guys. Let's see how this turns out. Just fuck it, like whatever. There we go. Okay, and then you can go up and change the skin color. I don't know why it doesn't take you to the first tab first, but it doesn't, oh my goodness. Doing this in the screen of a phone is weird. So, I don't know, say we want pink skin, you can go lighter, darker, change the shades of them. Um, it's so much fun. I definitely recommend it because my favorite part of playing video games is avatar creating. So, you can just literally sit here. You can save your work. Um, so, say I want to save this, say that's all I have. I can either take a screenshot of it or I can come up here. And I can save it in slots one, two, or three. One through two, three, four, or five. Sorry, one through five. Wow, if my brain would function today. And then you can reset the character to start over. Um, I haven't had much luck saving them. I don't know. Again, if it's my phone and it's just not working with my S9, but I highly suggest this app. So much fun. So much fun. Ghoul Kiss is amazing for making this her artwork is amazing you should follow her on instagram them on instagram i can't say that it's a girl draw judging by the way they draw i would go with it. it's probably female but i don't know because it could also be a male so i sorry if i misgendered i'm not 100 percent. either way their art's amazing go follow them go get the app so so much fun they also said that they would rather not put um, in app purchases it's completely free and she said that she, or they said that they didn't want to milk younger people for their money which I appreciate because uh, I like my money um, but I also don't like apps that cost stuff to put to pay 
So that's super fun. Um, so on that note, I have one more thing to show you and then we'll open this package that's already open because I flashed you my address last time. So I got my tattoo and if you live under a rock and don't follow me on Instagram, here it is. I know that was a shitty song guys, I'm sorry. Um, so this is my brand new ghost Pokemon tattoo. You got a little dust skull back there holding the candy cane. And then you come down. You got Ghastly. He's got stars in his eyes if it would focus. Mimi Q, Pumpkaboo, Bayonet, Litwick, Spiritum, Phantop, Noibat. They're not all ghosts. I know. Uh, Crowbat, Shuppet, and a Haunter, Phantom, and I think I said Spiritum already. And then uh, Crescent Moon. You can look at the whole um, layout on my Instagram. I have the original artwork that she did up on that. I absolutely love it. I squeed when she showed me um, No It's Not A Ghost Pokemon. I was going for a graveyard theme, but I wanted a spooky coop tattoo for like ever. And then I was like, well, ghost Pokemon's my favorite genre. And then I was like, well, then there's bat Pokemon. So we got to throw those in there. And so that's what we get. Um, the reason Duskull is holding a candy cane, motherfucker can't get in the right holiday over here, <laughs> is also a reference to Nightmare Before Christmas with the Halloween and the Christmas candy cane in there. I was like, you idiot, it's the wrong holiday and the wrong candy, but whatever, it's fine. I sent her a picture of Duskull holding a candy cane and that's what she drew. So I was like, we'll just leave it alone. It's cute, it's fine. We'll put that reference in there. So I absolutely adore it. I'm getting it colored next Thursday. Um, I only go to Madame Voodoo in Warrington. I don't go anywhere else. So there it is. I love it. I hate my arms, guys. I don't know if you know this. I hate my arms, but like, I'm starting to wish I had more tank tops just because of this. So I think the next piece I'm getting is also going to be on my arms. Because when you hate something, cover it in glitter or cover it in art. Right? Right? I don't know. That's what I'm going to live by. Alright guys. So the unboxing video I have, or un I don't even know, opening package, goth reviews it, whatever you want to call it. Video I have today is kind of past all goth. It is by Roxy, yeah, let me make sure I'm saying that right, Roxy Sweetheart. This is her logo. She has a lot of cute things on Etsy. She has anything from colors to bows to back clips to heart rings to a lot, just a lot. It's all cutesy. It's all very pastel goth. Um, I love it to death. It's just a bit pricey. And I haven't looked at this yet. I know the package is slightly open, but I haven't pulled it out and I haven't looked at it yet. Okay, so I saw this online and without showing you my address, let's show you the picture of it. So this is the picture of the item that I got. If it would focus, focus. It is a spiderweb choker with a cute pink bell and a black bow. Now, this was oh, I have a coupon. Cool. 10% off. I want to say it was $40. It was, like I said, a bit pricey, but no more pricier than like my pastel punk doll collars, which these are only actually really cheap. These are like $25. Um, I might have to do a review on that. I have quite a bit of those. Um, but all in all, all right. All right, let's go. I can't wait anymore. Here we go. We're going to open it. We're going to pull it out. We are going to... Oh. Okay. First slight disappointment. Happiness and disappointment all enrolled into one, okay? I don't know how to describe this, okay? This is the packaging I come, came out with. Very cute, very pastel goth. Not denying that, love the purple spider webs. It looks like it looks in the picture, except in the picture, 
it gave the distinct look of this part being shiny and metallic. So it had like a rainbow sheen when you moved it. That's what it looked like to me. That's why I, I, part of the reason I wanted it. So on the other hand, it's as big as I anticipated because I thought when I felt the package that it was gonna be smaller. And can we note that the bubble wrap inside is pink? Okay, but like seriously, all right, let's open this thing. So that was slightly disappointing. Um, let's hope this fits because like I said, big neck. If not, I can extend it, not a big deal. I am skilled in the jewelry department. Don't worry about that. I can figure out a spot to open it at. It has all her information right here if you're interested. There it is. Roxy Sweet is the Twitter. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. I know it's backwards. I'm sorry. Oh, look at the pretty lights, guys. Look at it. Sorry, I have a light right here that's like reflecting rainbows everywhere. Um, oh, it's a little mummy lollipop. Look at it. I don't know why I came with this. I don't care. It's cute. I don't want to eat them. You probably buy this head off later. It's fine. All right, so out comes this. Now, like I said, granted, it's very cute. It is, however, very stiff. I don't know if that's like the patent leather beneath of it or what, but here it is. Like I said, the lighting's going to do it more justice over here. Um, super cute, spider webs, a PVC bow, and the bell that doesn't actually jingle that loud. Oh goody, now I can wear it today. Oh, it also has this cute little, it has her signature heart. Um, on the chain if you'll focus you're not gonna focus are you you're not going to you don't like me phone come on anyway this is roxy sweetheart on it no no it just barely fits like it's like right there oh i hate my fat neck hate it it's fine i can extend it but it looks so cute okay Overall review, am I sorry I bought it? Hell no. It's hella fucking cute. Am I disappointed that it wasn't what I thought it was? A little bit. A little bit. Makes me question if I will buy some of her holographic ones because I thought this one was holographic as well. But that could, again, be my misreading. So we won't jump to to any, it's not bad or anything, um, but it is super cute. I super love it. Um, I'm going to wear it as soon as I can get this damn thing extended, probably today before I leave. Um, but other than that, that is all I have for you guys today. I, as I said before, um, if you would like me to review something, pass the lock off, Victorian off, I don't know, um, anything, relatively that I would find cute, which isn't hard for me. If it's sparkly, purple, or pink, I'm pretty much, yeah. Or if it's bats or goth or hit me up. Either leave a comment down below, send me a message on Inst or on Instagram. I don't, okay, I will say this. If you send me a message on Instagram, I will not reply. You're better to drop me a comment. I will not reply, but I see them. That's how I know I get so many goddamn dick pics, okay? Don't send me dick pics. Don't send me nudes unless you're a cute girl. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Don't send nudes, guys. Don't do that. I'm not asking anyone for nudes. I was completely joking. Please don't send me nudes. Don't send me dick pics. I don't want it. I delete it. I just, I, I don't want them. I don't want to see dicks, okay? I don't. I am with a man and he's the last man I'm ever going to be with. Sorry guys, I'm pretty much gay as fuck. 
<laughs> if you're a cute girl, you can send me a selfie, but don't send me anything. All right, no underage, nothing, okay? Just don't do it. Just drop me a cute selfie. That's all I need, all right? Um, on a side note, like I said, if you send me a message on Instagram, they do get checked hesitantly, especially if you send pictures, but they do get checked. Um, and also, like I said, you better to drop me a comment because I'm going to see it sooner, um, especially in my videos because I have the YouTube Studio app, so it just, I'm sorry, I'm down here popping bubble wrap. It uh, gets to me quicker. So anyway, like I said, drop me something to review, otherwise I'm just going to keep buying my wish list off Etsy because I have the money and I have the time and I'll just work my way through it for forever. <laughs> Um, I love you guys so, so much. Thank you all for watching. If you haven't, uh, you can like me and follow me on Instagram. You can like me on Facebook at Lowly Love Bunny, or you can follow me on Instagram at Lowly Love Bunny X Morte Mistress X, or, um, I have two YouTubes. So thank you all for, the blah, 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 blah. thank you all so much for watching. <laughs> I will see you all in the next video. I hope you liked this review. And you guys have a wonderful day. Take care of yourselves and be nice to each other. Bye, beautifuls.